Hi, folks, and welcome back to the vlog. Hello. This week, we have Jenny Aitken here. How exciting. Um, Jenny's going to be uh, sharing some of her three pro tips, so things that she wished she knew when she was starting out in the business. Yes. And hopefully this can help you. This is a whole new series we're doing. Jenny's the first. You've got three. You've given me three ideas here. Guidance looks like number one on the list for you. So talk me through that one. It was. It's um, it's choosing who to trust, I think, because I think when you start out, well, for me, when I started out as an artist, I did not have a huge amount of confidence. Um, and I think it's easy to ask everyone to take everyone's opinion, especially the people who love you, you know, your friends, your family, um, lots of people. And, and it's a great ego boost, I imagine, to have your friends yeah. tell you how great you are, because they're not going to be objective, are they, really? Are no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's both that. It's both, you know, effusive praise. Wow, you're so amazing. <laughs> yeah, bit, which exactly. is lovely. Yeah, it's um, important, too, if you're also, starting out. Yeah, yeah, it absolutely is. It gives you that lovely sort of base to, to work from. So there's there's that there's there's taking the praise for what it is, allowing it to boost you, but just knowing knowing what that's really for. Um, it's it's not about the quality of your work. It's just your loved ones being lovely. Um, so how did you get to a point where you realised I need more than this? I I need someone to be objective about it. And how did you find them? Look for them. Look for people who are painting in a similar way to you online. Um, depending on where you're at you know when i just left university i had say an art lecturer i could have asked but but galleries i would say are a really good place to start even just looking at them seeing who's in your sphere where people who are doing work like yours and um judging from that maybe contacting some of the artists get a bit of advice and um, did, did did when you started contacting artists did they were they very open to say, look, I'll give you an appraisal of your work? I mean, how did you get an honest appraisal at that, that, that valuable people were thing? Really, everyone's very friendly in this world, I have found, you know, right. a few, very few exceptions. Um, you know, I think it's being careful to judge. Obviously, some galleries are really busy. So turning up and going, please give me a, <laughs> yeah. a critique, I'm sure you're... <laughs> So you've got a lot on, you know, um, but finding other artists, mostly I think people are really willing to give you some valuable advice. And I remember about 15 years ago, maybe more now, going out to paint in the Peak District and meeting another artist who was there. He had some work in, um, in a National Trust place. It was, it was better than mine. It was better quality. There was all sorts. And I just, I just spoke to him and said, is there any chance, you know, could you have a quick look at my website or, or my work at that point? And really that all comes around to how you feel when you're starting out. You want to have that confidence boost from your friends and family, but you do also need to be ready for a bit of healthy critique so that you can grow and get yeah. better. Um, and I guess it's like playing tennis. You've got to play with someone. You've got to ask the advice from someone who's better than you. You have. Um, yeah. And yeah. hopefully they'll be generous enough to pass down that advice. And it sort of slips on to the next point, you, which, which is big thing for you, which is point two, which is community. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't know about all the other artists out there, but I am a bit of a loner. And I'm very independent in what I do. Um, so one of the first things I did when I had time to, to really go into painting sort of part time, two or three days a week, was I joined an, a studios. So I started to rent a studio nearby and I got okay. to know loads of other artists that way. And having that, that professional buzz around you, that was that was invaluable. Um, and you must have learned a lot from each other, I guess, to, to, to working together. Absolutely. Like that. But you know, that was, I guess that was a few steps along, but right from the start, just talking to other artists, being, meet your peers, find out who they are, find out who's in your area. Um, don't be isolated. It pushes me to be better. And that, that's what, that's what you need. Constant growth. Yeah. And I guess if you're sharing peer to peer, 
you know, you're going to be passing tips over, you're going to be talking about your experiences as an artist, you're going to be talking about galleries you've worked with, you know, things to avoid, yeah. things to go for. Tax. Tax, <laughs> yeah. Well, well, all this those is all issues you stuff. aren't this expecting. Is, is, absolutely, as a professional artist, this is really, it sounds really boring, but it is so important. Yeah. Okay, that's great. Now, the last point um, we've got here, you needed to chillax. What is that all about? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. This is probably a little bit individual, but I am um, I'm potentially similar to you, Mark, in the way that if I get an idea, I have to do it immediately, whether it's three o'clock in the morning or, you right. know, a day on holiday when you're supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, I know. But that I one. am just I'm in a rush to do everything. I want to do everything. And um, that's great. But when it gets into my painting, which it always it always has done, um, mm. then the quality suffers. And I I think I wish I could go back and say to myself, really invest in those skills. Really, actually, Jenny, go and learn to paint. Um, rather than taking twenty years to get to a point where you know you're you're, <laughs> you're getting so you're somewhere. talking about. You're not talking about, you're talking about learn the techniques to be able to achieve the goals you want. I guess it's like golf. You know, you can whack a yeah. ball as long as you like, but it, and you're not going to get a really, unless you get a really great swing and know how to do it, you're not going to get those consistently hole in ones. Is that Yes. Thing? Strange. I often use golf as an analogy, actually. Right. But yes, it is knowing your craft. It's, um, yeah, it's easy to just do the best you can, do the best you can, do the best you can without investing in actually getting better, deeply better, you know, knowing about the materials that you use, about the longevity of what you're doing, uh, the framing, the whole, everything that's specific to me. Um, I, I would like to tell myself, you have time to slow down and do this. It's not going to be detrimental if you actually go and study a bit more right. um and, and do, for you personally how did you do it so you just picked up a paintbrush initially and started yeah. painting well um, I, I did a degree in photography i dropped the painting because i found the course quite dull uh yeah. but that that's probably to do with me rushing um and me wanting to get things done and we just had this term of of painting white objects and i couldn't couldn't stand it so I did photography, which is obviously it's quite quick results. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, no, I was always painting in the background and I've just relied on my drawing skills, I think, and then um, learning very slowly. What do I like? What are the, what other artists do I like? What inspires me? Trying to get better through trial and error. <laughs> well, that's brilliant. I hope everybody out there has been really um, enthused by this. She's an incredible painter. I'm going to leave you in a minute with a whole video um, of uh, her work so you can see how amazing she's become. And she has <laughs> gone ballistic in this last 12 months, <laughs> believe me. So, Jenny, thanks nice so year. much for sharing your tips with us. This is really fantastic. Thank you. Thank you for asking me. All right. We'll see you again. Take bye, care. Bye. bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.